Yo, what's up, YouTube? So today I'm gonna to be going over how to extend your pressure. So before I get started, there's two key important movements to know. The first one is called dash canceling. So it's basically when you dash and hold backwards like this, this allows you to um basically cancel your momentum. So you could have more control over your character because if you were to just like dash forward without going backwards, if you wanted to go back, you wouldn't be able to. And you would end up like overshooting by accident. But if you dash cancel, you can choose what direction you want to go in because you're like kind of in this weird in-between state of when you're standing still, but you're also walking at the same time because if you look at the character model, you're still like kind of in the walk animation, but you're standing still. So if you want to start walking again, you could, but if you didn't want to, you could also stop yourself. So that's the first one. The second important movement option is empty hopping, which is jump fast fall. Very important for pressuring and baiting out your opponents. So make sure you know these first before I get into the video. All right. So... I'm not going to be going over how to actually hit your opponent. This is for after you hit them. So let's say your opponent gets hit by an ally on sword, right? Your average player would usually go for an attack right after it. Some kind of mash option, you would think. So some people will just go for end light, side light, right? Or they'll like do some kind of chase dodge forward. But that's like terrible. So... Don't chase dodge. This is like a big, this is a big, big tip for like, if you're looking to improve in movement, stop chase dodging. It's not that good. Especially on hit when they're like at white. The only thing that this will do is just like put you in a worse situation because you can't do anything. When you chase dodge forward, you're in this weird state where you can't hit them. Like you're just running off the map. So if they're not even like going that far away from you, there's like no point chase dodging. And even if they are, like there's also no point because this is where dash canceling comes in. So if you were to end light somebody, you could dash cancel and then they could get scared of you because they saw you dash cancel because they expected you to go for this end light and the side light because it looks the same, right? So you end light somebody and dash cancel as if you're going to attack them again, but you don't. So that's like the first thing you could do off of hitting somebody, but that's kind of risky because they could just hit you. They could wake up and this is where empty hopping comes in. So like, let's say you end light somebody. Instead, you could choose to jump fastball and light jump fastball, like bait them out. They might think you're going to land with an aerial. And this is where you could land with the aerial if you wanted to. You could mix up and just go for a dare. You could end light, then jump fast fall, then go for a side light like this. It's all about different mix up options. And those are the two biggest ones. So being able to put yourself in a reactable position that's not that punishable is important. Dash canceling is really like good for calling out dodges, but it's kind of risky to go for because they might just hit you if they're just still wake up. But if you jump fast fall, it's like the safest option to do because you could gravity cancel. You could fall back to the ground and just hit them. Being able to just empty up is very important. So like, let's say your opponent knows that you're just gonna jump like this when they get hit by an end light. This is when you can start to mix up by just going for end light into side light. Because there's always like, there's never like always a really bad option. End light into side light is not always bad. You could do it sometimes, just, you can do it as a mix up. You don't always have to default to just attacking and attacking and attacking. You wanna default to a safer option, like hitting somebody and just like, like moving around them. Kind of just pressuring them, which I talk about in the pressure guide. So you got to keep doing this and kind of get a feel for what your opponent's doing. All right, so yesterday I beat Sansom in a tournament. So right here, he hits me. I hit the D-Light reverse Nair. And then you see how I empty up there? As long as you can make it look realistic and make it seem as if you're actually about to hit them or bait them out, then it'll work every time. Because doing nothing is still considered an option. So if your opponent does nothing when you pressure them, you can still punish it. But yeah, that's basically it. If you actually learned something, please like the video. Leave in the comment what guide I should do next. Right now I'm uploading every week, so give me some ideas in the comments.